Seems to have an invisible touch. Yeah! Do -do -do. She reaches in and grabs a hold of your heart. Yeah! Do -do -do -do. She seems to have an invisible touch. Yeah! <laughs> Wake up, sweetie! Wake up! Do you have any good dreams? <laughs> Who am I? Who am I? Did I tell you to talk? Did I tell you to talk? Did I tell you to talk? Shut the fuck up, bitch! Shut the fuck up! Did I tell you to fucking talk? You think my wife would leave if I want you to fucking talk? You think I care? You think I fucking care what you have to say? You fucking bitches! No, 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 Shut the no, no, no. fuck! Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up!
Hey Jack. Hey, what's up? Man? How much? Yeah, so New Hey, Jack, anything I can help you with? No, nah, not really, Steve. I appreciate the help last week on that project. It's nice to know I have that one friend who'll always be there, no matter what. People around here are so fucking flaky. Hey man, I'm just trying to help. See, some of these people come here, they come in and they leave. They they only offer themselves and they don't care about anything but themselves. Yeah, they don't give a shit, man. Hell. Fake people. <laughs> some of these folks have two lives. I see some guys come in with rings on their fingers and get all touchy with the women. Oh. Yes, it is, man. It's like they have a face they put on for the public, and then they have a face of wife and kids at home. And then it's like they live in two lives. The dark side and the other side. Hey, Jack, do you have a dark side? You don't know the power of the dark side. <laughs> right on, Vader. I can always use a Steve wisdom. I'll see you around, man. Have a good one. Jack! How the hell are you on this fine morning? Could not be better, my friend. How are you? Doing good. What's on the Jack Down parties for today? Just, uh, girls head on a stick. A what? I said one of these ideas need to stick. Oh, yeah. The new forms. We'll get sent out. I mean, the old slogan sucks ass, man. <laughs> I could agree on that. Hey, do you hear about that clown on the list? Maybe it has to do with the disappearances of the city. Shit, who knows? Yeah, I, I don't know. I heard a little about it. I, I mean, if it's true, he's probably getting rid of some of these lower class assholes. <laughs> I mean, the city is too big. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> that's true, that's true. I can agree on that, too. Look, fucking clown outfit? Right. I mean... This shit is dumb. I couldn't agree more. I know you gotta put something on if you're a bitch you can't show me. <laughs> he is a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you always got that fucked up laugh, Jack. <laughs> you always had that fucked up smile, Ted. <laughs> hey man, duty calls. I'll see you at lunch, brother. See you, John. Yep. Hey, it's Ted. Yeah. Yeah, I told you, I'll be there. I'll be there in 10. Do you not hear myself? I'll be there in 10 minutes, alright? Okay. Get out of here, you piece of shit, motherfucker. Girl last night. Look, you had me with Kyle, and he does what he does best. He gives teens shit for no reason, especially those in the Mall Creek area. Well? Well, we were patrolling the same area you always have us patrol, and shit for brain sees some teenagers about 17 or 18 and starts starts flashing his lights out. Okay. And what do you think happened? He pulls them out and makes them blow each other. One kid starts taking off running, and he tells me to go chase the poor bastard. I'm not chasing a kid doing nothing. Well, fuck me. Yeah, I wish somebody would. Listen, I'll talk to Kyle personally. All right. Just, hey, yeah. one more thing. Look, I know you got an opinion on everything. Yeah. What's your opinion on this, this guy running around with masks? I think the clown killed everybody. Well, I think the killing is him personal. Mm -hmm. I kind of got an idea of when and where he's going to strike next. All right, slow down, cowboy. Just stay in your room. 
Evet. 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 Okay, either we figure something out or we're going to lose money. We're going to lose our job. We need to be biting at each other's throat. We got bigger problems to this. What's the bit? What's and what's that? Well, we need to cut out the personal crap. You know, you know, just focus on what's in the business at hand here. You know, your personal business is your personal business. Your personal business is your personal business. We don't need to be knowing anything about it unless it affects the company itself. Jack, what do you got? How do you expect our employees to work so well with somebody who's a manager who's a complete fucking hypocrite? Well, I don't know, Danny. Oh, Danny and a liar. I saw her drop you off at work today. Uh, well, okay, one, that wasn't my wife or ex-wife. That was an Uber. Thank you very much. Yes, she was sexy as fuck. Yeah, fuck out. Let me take the first. Oh, okay. Jack, we're in a. What I'll see you guys. What the fuck? I'm going to be in kindergarten. Can you? You kidding me right now? Like left in the middle of the meeting. Why is he so upset about your personal business? I, no I mean, there's a more going on than that, you know. I, I mean, you know. Yes, this is pretty good. Enough. Does anybody want to go fun. after him? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go and chase his. Just let him cool down. Oh no, I'll, I'll go and chase. I'll go and chase his stupid ass. Sorry, babe. It's just been a really long day. My mind's fuzzy. I was just saying, everyone at work has been talking about this clown and all the missing people in the city. It's mm. really scary. Yeah, it is. We can't even feel safe going out into public anymore. Like, I just hope someone finds them and turns them in, you know? Yeah, I hope so too. A clown. That's something else. Anyway, um... There's leftovers in the fridge if you get hungry. Thanks, babe.
21380, we have a follow up on the missing persons case from last Tuesday. They were last seen at Myers Park in the back section. Over. I'm in that area. I'll go check it out. Over and out. I'm seeing, I found a red nose and clown thing. That proves it. But no print. No, I guess he was wearing gloves or something. I told you to stay in your own lane. Look, all I did was... was I don't want to be involved. Look, I responded to a call. That's it. That's it. Just stay in your lane. suspect is working within the metro area. Officials requested any tips be submitted to our hotline. In other news... Jack, you okay? Uh, look, uh, look, fellas, I gotta use a ball, ball, ball uh, <coughs> I gotta get some more. Uh, okay. What the hell just happened? Wow. You don't think it was him, was it, on that, on the TV? No, I don't think Jack's capable of something like that. Seriously? What do you think? Was it him? Can't be him. I hope not. You never know what a man might do. I mean, you know, of doing. he's got his issues, but, you know, I don't think Jack's capable of doing something like that, or even would want to. I mean, you know. That can't be him that was on the TV. I can't be him. I thought it was you. Why the hell would it be me? I don't know. It just seems... Because I was a dick to you last night? Nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, I, you know, I think we're making more out of it. I hope so. I mean, Jack, seriously? Oh, well, man. <clears throat> you should talk to them. You see, he still hates my guts, still. Well, you know, you, you probably should talk to him. I mean, you guys need to patch things up. Let me see if he's willing to talk to you about it and get things settled. Yes.
seriously? What? I've let it go the last few nights, but I'm sick of this shit. Babe, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, I just... um, I don't know. You're hours late home every single night from your shift. Last night, I didn't even hear from you. You were gone all night. What, what do you want? I know when you're lying, Jack. Sweetie, it's just... this so you know before the media freaks out. Look, we think we got the serial killer and a little bit of more information on him. We know he worked across the street. Now the press knows a little bit more, but they don't know his name. His name is Jack Allen. How do we know this? That's a great question. His girlfriend reported him last night. She told us everything without going into detail, keeping this brief. It all lines up. She brought in the knife he used in a killing in the garage and the blood and prints match and the other disappearances line up with the times that he was not home if this doesn't make sense I got it all right here courtesy to the fellas and ladies 
back at the office. Now some of you, you need to focus on this. Some of you, keep your eyes peeled. Oh, and he stole a Volkswagen that was stolen right around the corner at the time of the disappearance. It was right across the street as well. That's everything. Good to go. Okay. You run the DMV on the Volkswagen. I'll go ahead and uh, track this other information down. I'll give you a call in a little bit. Okay, let's get it. Hey, man. Doing, brother? No good. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. Good seeing you. Good seeing you too, man. How long has it been? A couple uh, years. Yeah, it's been two years. Part two years and three days. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, been, it's been a while. You can go ahead and take a seat over there. All right, man. Uh, how's work? How's that been? Uh, uh work's going all right. I mean, I, I thought I was gonna get late last night, but it didn't happen. But uh, other than that, work's going okay. Want to want to drink? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Where we want? Look, man, I need to talk to you about this Jack Allen character. You know, I can't say much because I'm on the force, but just personally, I'm trying to piece some shit together, man. What, what can you tell me about it? Well, everyone at the office is paranoid since the news named someone in the building as the killer. Since they got all that evidence given up by his girlfriend. <laughs> you sure it's not Jack? Personally, between us bros, I can't tell you too much, but he's a person of interest. So is there anything that you can give me about, you know, acting weird around work, or...? Okay, man. I got you. But look, he hasn't been at work in the last few days, okay. and he's been acting off in the last few weeks. Yeah. I always joke with him, but he seems he can't take a joke. He has a strange view on this world. Yeah. You know, a lot of people in his position that are higher up, they do live some separate lives, you know, not naming him the main suspect. But hey, man. Diddy calls. Oh, it's, I it's got it, brother. Yeah. Hey, thanks for the drinks. Thanks for everything. It was good catching up on the old times. Yes, it was. Yeah. Keep in touch. I sure will. Yep. Thanks for the information, brother. Mm-hmm. Hello? <laughs> Who's this? Are you gonna fucking say anything? I'm, what are you like? Hey, man, I'm gonna need some air. I'm gonna have to okay. do some drills. We got less than a month to decide about this company, but okay, we'll make the meeting at noon. I'll, I don't have to worry about your bullshit, okay? But we'll meet the we'll we'll meet at noon tomorrow, right here. Fine, all right, maybe. and I promise you guys, I will straighten up. Oh my god, I just hope it's not Jack. I just hope it's not Jack. I just hope it's not Jack. It's like, oh. 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 Fuck. Jack, is that you? Oh. saw the weapon fall out of his pocket mm -hmm. and you found the letters yes. pictures mm -hmm. and so you kind of pieced everything together yes um yes that's exactly what as soon as i saw the knife fall out of his jacket everything started to make sense and 
Um, he, he's been gone almost every single night, and when I thought, when I pieced everything together, it, everything lined up with the killings. Okay. It all made sense. Could you give me a brief history of y'all's relationship? Oh, gosh. Um, like from the beginning? Yes. From okay. the beginning until up to now. Uh, well, we met in college. Um, we've been together for five years. Uh, when we first met, I was smitten, and um, we were very close in the beginning of our relationship, and uh, I guess everything was perfectly fine for a couple of years, and then everything just recently in the past couple of years has been going so far downhill. Um, he's pulled himself completely away from me. He doesn't talk to me. Uh, he's spacing out almost all of the time. Um, he's gone almost every single night. I, I have no idea where he is. I just, he doesn't talk to me, he doesn't do anything, so I just don't understand. It's just changed a lot. So, when you found the letters that he had written to the police officers and the drawings of the dead bodies, did you, was your first instinct to call the police and give it to us, or did you settle that information for a little bit of time? Um, I did. I, I went straight to the police. Okay, that's good. Do you feel like you're in any kind of, any kind of danger? You know, do you feel safe being where you're at? I do. At? No. I, um, I do feel like I'm in danger. Yes. Because I could have some police officers outside of your house um, doing 24-hour surveillance just for the fact that, you know, we all want to protect you as well, but we also want to see if he is going to come back for any belongings. <laughs> or is to harm you or you know whatever is going on in his mind um, that if if something like that could be done that would be amazing we could we could definitely make that happen um, because if there's any possibility that he's going to come back and try to harm you or um, just try to come back to the house for you know any kind of belongings we would want to be there not only to protect you but also to see if we can catch him yeah. and um, put him into his doings. So, okay. That's thank you. So much. All I have for you today. Again, I would like to thank you for your time. Thank you. I'll show you so out. much. Thank you so much. You have a good one. Be safe. If anything, if you find anything, please let me know. Wakey, wakey, girls! <laughs> oh, that's what happens when you run away from a clown car. You know, a long time ago, crazy used to be considered a real thing. Nowadays, everybody's considered crazy. My mom left me at an orphanage when I was 16. My mom sold my clothes. She sold everything I had. I'd get the shit kicked out of me every day and the world would just keep fucking watching! I ran and I keep running! There's no catharsis. The evil never stops. I'm a mayor and I am what you people made of me. <laughs> what am I, a demon? Am I just some fucked up silly clown? Maybe. I'd like to think I'm the. I am the. I am he. I am doing the fucking devil's work. You've already done this once. Quit calling my phone.
Where the hell is everybody? They've already came and went. What do you mean they came and went? I debriefed them. They're gone. Why did you debrief them? Well, when I got here, when I got the call, I noticed she wasn't here, so I stepped in. We don't have any time to waste here. Robert, that's not how this works. We have no time to waste here, Chief. All right? Listen, man, I told you to stay in your lane. Yeah, stay You're in your lane. Listening. I know. This is personal for me. I want to catch him just as bad as anybody else does. I want to look that son of a bitch in the eye so he knows that I'm the one that did it. Listen, man, I'm reassigning you. I can't have this. Well, if I'm off the case, and I'm off the force. I quit. Over the last few years, I tried to move on. I did a damn good job too. Finding work was not easy, but I found honest work that led to new friends and eventually someone special. The phone call stopped, everything was great. But evil never dies. I knew he was out there, and it burnt me to my fucking core that no one would stop him. It must not be the popular case anymore. No one cares about serial killers. It doesn't sell. The bastard found his loophole. Got out the radio again. Heard something about a guy working at an antique store a few counties over. Matching what Gene said in those old tapes. I know it's him. Sir, uh, can I help you? 